Greetings and hello to another amazing Brizzy tutorial. My name is Chris and today I'm going to show you how you can create these amazing gradient backgrounds for your boxes. Um, we are going to achieve this only by using CSS, so all you need is Brizzy Pro. It works on WordPress and it works in cloud. So, um, I'm going just to show you the CSS code. You're going to copy it in and I'm going to explain you what you have to do, the steps you have to do to create uh, these um, effects. So let's jump into Brizzy. We are going to create a new page. Just a test and add it with Brizzy. Um, first things first, we need some boxes with some content we can work with. So I'm going to put a row here and let's generate some content. We have an image, title, some text. center of this one, maybe the heading. So this is basically our um, our content we are going to use. So first things first, we need to uh, install a margin. So uh, and, and don't be too shy with that. I'm going now to 15 pixels. Um, because we need this to uh, create, to have enough space between these boxes so our gradient effect is showing properly. Um, the next thing we need to do, um, we're going here into the CSS, you need this code here for, for the box. It stands for Box Custom Gradient and we hit the blue arrow up here, go to settings, more settings, and in the advanced section in the CSS class, you just paste this box CGR, uh, well, the, the custom uh, class for our box in. We don't need this empty one, we can delete this, so let's copy this two times. This is our content, so let's just change the images and that's basically already our setup so if I'm going to watch uh, to have a look in the in the preview you already see um, we have here our gradient and everything looks nearly as our sample page. <clears throat> so what do we need to do to change some things here? Let's jump into the CSS. Um, most importantly, this is the name of your box. You have to uh, rename the blue div container where you have your content inside. Um, it's important if you don't name it exactly like this, uh, it won't work. If you want to use a different name, remember to change this. When, whenever you see this uh, uh, name inside the CSS code, that you replace this one with your own CSS. Um, the interesting part uh, is here, the minus five. This minus five tells uh, how large your your uh, border shall be. So if you want uh, your border a little bit larger, then put in minus ten, for example. If you want it a little bit slimmer, change it to minus two, for example. Same here. You need to change the border size on both uh, elements in the CSS. And down here we have finally, uh, this is the, the section where you can tell uh, 
what colors you want to use. Um, to do this, I'm using a color picker. Uh, you just switch the color you want to have. So for example, let's take this lime green. And here you see it's R148G255 and B blue would be zero. Let's have a look, for example, this yellow one here. Let's change this. Let's go into lime again. So we have one, let, let's take 150. I think it might look good. Yeah, 150, 255, and zero. So um, you want to go into the first gradient. This is this one here. And yeah, I'm, I'm so smart, and now I forgot the numbers. Yeah, 150 we had on the first thing. So 150, 255, zero, update. And you see, uh, now we have this lime green up here. So this is how you change the colors. Um, to get your, your white background, we jump into Brizzy again. And here in the uh, div section, you just choose Overlay White. Let's take this one again, Overlay White, Overlay White, Update. There you go. This is how fast and easy you can create your own gradient uh, borders for your boxes. I hope this uh, small little snippet will help you out and we are going to see us again in the next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.